sexual abuse is so much more than a disturbing physical act. It changes the trajectory of a victim's life, and that is something that no one has the right to do. Your Honor, with your permission, I would now like to address the defendant. You may. After my parents confronted you, they brought you back to my house to speak with me. Sitting on my living room couch, I listened to you tell me, no one should ever do that, and if they do, you should tell someone. Well, Larry, I'm here, not to tell someone, but to tell everyone. You convinced my parents that I was a liar, that you didn't strategically place lotion in the basement so you could beat your penis in my face while I hid. But I still get sick at the smell of that lotion. You convinced my parents that you didn't pull my feet into your lap, unzip your pants, and rub your erect penis against my bare skin. But I still flinch when my feet are near someone's lap. You convinced my parents that you didn't stick your fingers in my adolescent vagina. But I knew when it was time to use my first tampon, not to worry, because my hymen wasn't intact. You used my body for six years for your own sexual gratification. That is unforgivable. I've been coming for you for a long time. I've told counselors your name in hopes that they would report you. I have reported you to Child Protective Services twice. I gave a testament to get your medical license revoked. You were first arrested on my charges. And now, as the only non-medical victim to come forward, I testify to let the world know that you are a repulsive liar and that those treatments were pathetically veiled sexual abuse. Perhaps you have figured it out by now, but little girls don't stay little forever. They grow into strong women that return to destroy your world. Your Honor, there is no time that Larry Nassau can serve that will give me back those years with my family, or the time and energy I spent sorting out my anger, frustration, and confusion. But I can tell you this, our law does not do enough to prevent predatory acts, and often does not do enough to punish predators who have committed the hideous act of abusing a child. I can also tell you, Larry Nassar is a predator without boundaries. His patients weren't safe, his friends' children weren't safe, and even his own children weren't safe. If he is ever allowed to re-enter society, he will not hesitate to re-offend.